Welcome to this week's edition of the Wolfpack Softball Insider. I'm Ryan Radke with head coach Matt Michael. The Wolfpack softball team coming off their trip to the Stanford Nike Invitational. They went two and three in five games, and this weekend they'll be in Santa Barbara for another tournament. And coach, you, you look at the record two and three and say, well, oh, maybe you know not a great weekend. But boy, you guys had some big wins this uh, this past weekend. Tell me how you evaluate the the tournament over there in Stanford for your club. Well, I think it was us taking a step forward. It was a little bit disappointing in the two and three because we felt like we could have came out of there three and two or maybe even four and one. But like you said, the wins that we got were big wins. I think, you know, each one of them, if you look at it individually, to be able to beat a Sanford club that's ranked eighth in the country and really handily beat them mm -hmm. in that game, that's big for us. I think it made a big statement for our program, for our kids to be able to get that type of win and then additionally to get the type of comeback win we had against a quality Pacific club on Sunday. I think as you evaluate those two wins, they're going to do a lot of things for us later down the line. Certainly had some things that we didn't do well on the weekend. We've got to continue to improve those things as we go in, into Santa Barbara this weekend. The win against Stanford, as you said, I mean, you'd gone in there on Friday, you dropped a couple of games. Last weekend, won a great weekend for you. So I imagine your team's kind of down, but then to come out and beat the eighth ranked team in the country, and as you said, beat them handily, uh, what does that tell you about your club that they can be able to do that when maybe the emotional level wasn't great at that point? Yeah, we really challenged our club at the end of the day on Friday. I mean, Friday was not a good day for us. Um, you know, we lose a game to Pacific, come back out. I feel like we got up on a Bradley club early and had a chance to put them away and just didn't do that. And then the wheels came off late in that Bradley game, gave up a seven run inning in the sixth for us to really kind of put ourselves in a deep hole and not be able to dig ourselves out. So like I said, we really challenged our club on Friday and it was kind of one of those things where, you know, exiting the day on Friday, knowing that we're going to get Stanford twice on Saturday, which is, is a tough challenge when you get, you're get you know sitting at one and seven at that point and you, or one and six at that point. You got the eighth, eighth ranked club in the uh, country twice on Saturday. Like I said, we kind of just challenged them, wanted them to look in the mirror, see what we we're all about at that point. And for them to come out and make a statement early in that Stanford game and for us to really kind of put them away and, and run rule a uh, top 10 uh, ball club was huge. And I think that the second game on set, uh, Saturday against Stanford, the score really wasn't indicative of how close the ball game was along the way. There was really some situations where they made some great defensive plays to kind of hold us down to two runs, but we could have easily been in the five, six, seven range if we throw a couple good pitches here and there. I mean, we could have held them down as well. So it was it was a great day for us on Saturday, and, and we kind of carried that into our day on Sunday for sure. Oh, yeah, and Sunday was an emotional day for the Wolfpack. I mean, halfway through the game, you're probably sitting there pulling your hair out thinking, boy, you know, what else can go wrong? And then you get to the bottom of the seventh inning and a huge bottom of the seventh to, to pull out a, a walk-off victory. Kind of take us through that game and, and what went on for your club through the first six innings, and then what happened there in that seventh inning for you guys to come alive? Well, it was a situation where I felt like we were throwing up pretty quality at bats throughout the course of the game. Our, you know, it was one of those situations where you know, we had a run and we really had shot ourselves in the foot early on defense. Um, we made three key two out errors that really cost us three runs to get them to five. Um, but headed into the seventh inning, I knew if we could put some base runners on just because, you know, we'd been swinging hot bats. Mm -hmm. We'd had some confidence from the day before. Um, Pacific had kind of early in the season had already lost two late games in the year, had lost one in the first weekend of Kentucky, and then the night before had lost to Bradley late in the game. So I knew if we could put some pressure on them in the seventh that we had a chance. Um, you know, you get to two outs, and we just kind of strung together some good at-bats. It was great to see people string together great at-bats with two outs and us be able to get a couple hits here and there, and then for Sarah to get that huge hit in the seventh inning was just uh, it was just exciting for our program. Sarah Parsons three run walk off home run to to win the game. She's been off to a, a good offensive start. The numbers look good. What, what has she meant to your ball club early in the season? You know her competitiveness has been a huge asset to our both on our defense and our offense at this point. I mean she, right now she's leading us in average and, and really just kind of throwing up a lot of great at bats for us. Um, that was probably not one of her better days quite honestly. I mean really her first two at bats. Uh, she really struggled. Um, you know, she kind of threw away two at bats early in the game, and for her to be able to come back and and put up the quality at bat she did in that type of clutch situation was, I think, a huge, huge sign for of what's to come from her. She's really a competitor, and and when she um, when she has at bats like that, she's going to have a great year, I think, for us along the way. All right, now it's on to Santa Barbara this weekend. Tell us a little bit about the the competition that you're going to see. I mean, you're always playing good teams early in the year, and looks like you're going to see some more good teams this weekend. Yeah, I mean, I think the field's highlighted by a Houston club that's ranked. Um, you know, Houston club that last year went to a Super Regional and returns quite a few of their offensive stars from last year. Um, has been playing great early in the season, so we get them on Saturday. Um, you know, we get quite a bit quite a bit of the Big West as well, and certainly our, our rivalry game against UNLV. So it's a situation where, you know, in, in the early season tournaments when you're playing on the West Coast, you're going to get high quality competition. And 
we kind of expect that week in and week out. Right now, I like the where, where we're at. Like I said, I think we had two big wins as far as getting ourselves, you know, a couple statement wins on the weekend and getting ourselves some momentum headed into this weekend. All right, Wolfpack will be in Santa Barbara this weekend. You can follow all the action online at NevadaWolfpack.com. That's it for this week's edition of the Wolfpack Softball Insider.